ESG trends are starting to show up in names that haven't even gone public yet. According to the Wall Street Journal, the company slated to debut this fall, like Allbirds and Rent the Runway, are saying the mission is more important than the money. But how much of this messaging is legitimate and what will investors think? Joining me now to discuss is journal reporter Corey Drebush, along with Dan Primack, who is business editor at Axios. Welcome, guys. Corey, I'll start with you. Does the, do they actually change the way they're doing business because of this emphasis? Um, well, for many of them, yes. Uh, it's not just talk. Uh, there's obviously some companies that are sifting through their business practices to find sustainable things to brag about. But met for many of these companies, they were founded on this mission. And we're just seeing a new generation of, sort of mission-founded companies, right. like in all, for example, or uh, Chobani. Yep, and I think Warby Parker was originally, Dan, a B Corp. Is that still a thing? And how does that affect the way that they're able to raise money and go public? I mean, I have to be honest, I, it seems to me more to explain a story about the company and its personality than to have any anything to really do with the way that it does business. Am I missing something? No, you're not. I think that's correct. By the way, Warby Parker, yeah, I think it says they're going to be the first company to ever IPO as a B Corp. So that is still technically a thing. But no, right, th this is more about messaging, uh, probably less to investors than it is to consumers. But since these companies have used this as part of their message to consumers, it becomes part of their message to investors. So investors can better understand how these companies are maybe a little bit differentiated. The one thing I would say is, though, for them going public, this could get them into some ESG focused ETFs or other funds that otherwise they might not be able to as easily get into. Corey, are there any words of caution for investors here or is this just simply something we'll start hearing more and more about? Um, I guess uh, investors, besides uh, just reading SEC filings to look at what the ESG uh, focus is, um, I think we will be hearing more about them and Public Benefit Corp. Um, that's what Warby Parker is. Allbirds is Lemonade. If you remember their IPO, mm -hmm. they are. That's a new type of distinction that they want to be. That you have a fiduciary duty to both your shareholders and um, some social good, like the environment. So that's something to think about. Right. Um, one lawyer I talked to did say that that could come into play if there's an M&A offer on the table. Who do you need oh. to have the best offer, offer for? Oh, that's very interesting because that's exactly where this sort of dual obligation could become a very practical reality for investors especially. Corey, thank you. Corey Drebush for your time today. Dan Primack, thank you as always as well.